What's good, YouTube? I wanted to make this video really quickly. Uh, and the title of this video is Least We Not Forget. And what I mean by Least We Not Forget, I think it was from an old gospel, I mean, an old church song. Least We Not Forget something. I can't remember all the words to it. I apologize. Maybe I'll sleep that Sunday. But um, uh, at least we not forget that as we see things, let us not be blinded by joy. Let us not be blinded by the consistency of hard labor. Let us not be blinded by our personal lives, our personal issues. Let us not be blinded by the trials and tributes or the pretty colors that we see of the uniform or logos of the 2016 Olympics. Let us not forget as we go into Labor Day and eat good chicken and barbecue. Let us not forget as we go into Christmas time trading gifts. Let us not forget as we go into Thanksgiving sharing food. Thanksgiving and love with family members. Let us not forget the struggle continues. That as we move forward, each and everything happens. As we celebrate a cheer or just sit back and sip our tea, uh, as uh, uh, George Zimmerman was punched in a restaurant. Because I see it all. Just because I make videos, I see it all. Just because uh, uh, Dylan Roof got hit or whatever happened to him, let us not forget that he has yet to get in trial and that he has yet to not be uh, uh, punished to the highest order in the court of law. Let us not forget that uh, Philando Castile and Mr. Alton Sterling, neither one of them, uh, 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 the, the, uh, the people who fatally shot them, have yet to even be questioned, let alone uh, 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 sent to trial or, or even had a, what you call a pre or whatever the word you use for it. Let us not forget that any of these people uh, that have uh, uh, established a basis of not caring what black lives are, have continued to the least not even be questioned by the action. Let us not forget that mass incarceration still exists. Let us not forget that we are still being targeted, rather that be pullovers, rather that be arrests, rather that be uh, Trump char trumped up charges, meaning not Trump within itself but meaning that we get arrested while our other counterparts only get probation for the same crimes. Let us not forget that the struggle continues. Let us not forget that we must build economic wealth and must build back Black Wall Street and must support black banks and black-owned restaurants. Let us not forget that as, even as I don't do a video or you may not do a video or we may not talk about it, it's still there. Just because I don't do a video on every single topic that I see in the news, that don't mean I don't see it. I don't forget it. I'm not blind by it. I'm not moving on to the next one. Just because I do other titles or other videos, I still see it. Let us not forget as we continue to move forward. The numerous faces. Say her name. Say his name. Say their names as we move forward. Everything that we say and everything that we do, every waking moment that we get up is not only to provide for ourselves and feed and clothe and take care of the necessity for our lives, but it's to do it for the family, and to do it for the next generation, whether consciously or subconsciously. And I refuse, I refuse to, to not at least try to make the world a better place, and not just for myself, but for my children, don't have to grow up the way I do that. In 2016, I me mean, being a, a man, I, I have to see the same thing that my grandparents or great-grandparents or great-great-grandparents saw in the 60s, 50s, 40s, 30s, 20s, and 10s. In 1900s, a uh, black men, black people being lynched, rather that be a rope or rather that be a bullet, and the people who did it to them are not getting uh, punished, or at the very least, nobody's even raising an eyebrow, or even questioning it. So don't think for a minute that I have forgotten, or I, I I've moved on to the next one. As I always say, I'm on to the next one, meaning I'm on to the next to find truth, and not to on to the next to forget. People say, forgive but never forget. I say, choose to forgive what you want to forgive. Because some actions can never be forgiven. And then you forget not anything. Because each and every situation brings about a lesson. So least you forget, least I forget. Not, I, forgive ne I forget never. I, I forget nothing. Because at the end of the day, this is what the struggle is about. This is what everything is about. I make these videos for the living, but at the same time, I make it to protect those who are dead. But at the same time, I protect and just to take a, just as much effort and probably even more effort for those who have yet to be born yet. 
so that we can all grow up and as we go through the journey of manhood, get tips and advice and answers. I don't have all the answers. But I just wanted to say that at least you don't forget. At least I don't forget. Let us not forget the struggle. Let us not forget the situation that happened. You know, because they're still out there, no matter what the headlines are. Because like Denzel said inside training day, 90% of what you hear in the newspaper is just junk. But what I do know is that black lives are still being killed, brutalized, and nobody cares about them. But I do. And hopefully you do too. And hopefully all, our, all of our people do. And we can just do that. We can take what we have, our energy and our efforts, our enjoyment, our pains, our sorrows, our happiness. And just like a melody or a beat or whatever it may be, we can take our emotions and make something beautiful out of it. And what to me is beautiful is growing up, uh, black children, the next generation of little black kids growing up and being at peace. And finding out that they were not slaves, but actually finding out that they would descend the king and queens. And just let everybody just be in peace. That is what's beautiful to me. That's why I'm trying to turn these joy, sorrows, pains, hurt, happiness, highs and lows into something productive and positive and use it towards energy to help the next person behind me, to help the next man. It's an amazing thing happen, and I'm, that's why I'm going to leave as the uh, thumbnail. It said the only time that you look back or the only time that you look down on someone is to put your hand out and lift them up. And I thought that was a beautiful image. So that's definitely going to be a thumbnail. Check it out. But peace and many blessings as always. Put God and family first. It's the brown brother. On to the next one. Not forgetting, but on to the next one. As in, I'm trying to find the very next thing to help us grow as people, as a black family, as just brothers and sisters, period, and just living in a black community. But peace and many blessings again. Hope you all have a great day, a great weekend. Y'all see me very soon.